Ensure your S Pro analog PTZ camera is connected to your DVR and bring up the footage from your PTZ full screen. Then to access the PTZ's menu, right click and go to PTZ control. And before we enter the menu, we're going to adjust the camera using the pan, tilt and zoom controls until we have the desired first point of the tour. To save it as the first preset point of the tour, we're going to click the arrow pointing to the right to bring up all the options and then click enter menu. Then using the PTZ controls, you're going to want to go down to function settings and hit enter. Then with the preset options selected, hit enter again. We want this to be preset one, so we'll leave the preset as number one. You can change the name of the preset if necessary, but we're going to go down to settings and hit enter again to establish this location as preset one of the tour. To establish the next preset location of the tour, just right click once and we'll be back at PTZ control. Navigate to the next desired tour location and we can even zoom in and zoom out as well if necessary. And again, we'll hit the right pointing arrow and enter menu. Go down to function settings again and enter. Hit enter with preset selected but this time we'll change it to number two before going down to settings again and enter once more. You'll want to repeat this process for all the desired preset points in the tour. Once you've set all the desired points in your tour, go down to the back option and hit enter then go down to tour and hit enter. Go to settings and hit enter again. And down the left hand side, you'll see a list of the potential points the PTZ can visit on its tour. Clicking the right arrow will give you access to the potential points beyond the first eight. But since we've only got a couple of points in our tour, we'll just go back to the original view. We want the first point of our tour, number 01, to be preset point one. So if we hit enter, it will give us the chance to change which preset point the PTZ goes to first. We'll press the up arrow to go to 001. You can also push the right arrow key to set the dwell and speed settings if required. Dwell is the amount of time the PTZ will stay at that preset location before moving on and speed is the speed at which it will move to that point from the previous location. But we're going to leave these as the default. Hit enter to confirm the changes you've made then go down to location number 02. Hit enter again and change that preset location to preset 2. And again, hit enter to confirm the change is made. Once you've got all the preset points set up in the order you want the PTZ to tour them, go down to back and hit enter, and go down to back and hit enter again. Next, we recommend going down to the idle motion option and pressing enter. With idle function highlighted, use the right arrow button to switch it on. Then navigate to the idle time setting. This determines how long the PTZ camera waits after manual control has stopped before it returns to its previous automatic action 
such as a tour. Set this to a short amount of time, like one minute. After that, move to idle action and choose tour. And for parameter, enter one. This way, the PTZ camera will go back to tour one after being idle for one minute. The reason we advise setting up the idle motion is to avoid the camera being left in a useless position after manual control. Without this setup, someone could manually control the PTZ and leave it pointing at a wall, for example. And without idle motion enabled, it would stay there. With idle motion the way we've set it up, the camera will resume tour one after one minute of inactivity. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos from us here at S Pro.